All right, back here with a quick update on the goat and billy goat. Uh, now that I've had a chance to paddle both in some decent water, um, just got done this weekend paddling the billy goat on the green light about 14 inches and I paddled the goat on the chioa. But the other videos I mentioned, I've paddled down some other things as well. So I think I have a good feeling about both boats right now. As far as paddling styles, they both paddle about the same as far as, you know, just going down river in general, turning and stuff like that. However, um, I do prefer the goat in most situations um, with the flatter tail. You can stir and pivot easy and you know, make some quicker turns. Um, you can do an easier correction while in the middle of a rapid. And um, you can stern load to go over booth a little bit easier. Billy goat feels a little faster in some sense. Obviously, you have the bigger volume. Um, it could probably punch through some more meteor holes, but from what holes I've been in, they've been pretty decent size in the goat. I haven't had any issue with like getting back in or anything at my weight, at least 130, 135 pounds, zero issues. I got the seat in the middle position on both boats. Um, seems to fit me well as far as that's concerned. Um, so yeah, if you're deciding between the two, I if you're around you know 155 ish and below i'd say definitely the goat you probably won't even need the billy goat for most stuff or even a full creek boat for that matter i feel like i could take the goat down pretty much anything and be all right um if you're above that 160 165 and 170 range um you may want to consider the billy goat um but you probably still be okay in the goat um, playability still, I've, I've tried to get the goat vertical. I can get about three quarters, um, almost all the way vertical in a, in a good stream, good eddy line, but, um, I still can't get all the way vertical with my size, but could be some technique too. Um, yeah, so just overall plastic, um, so far, I mean, I've paddled the goat a lot more. I took the billy goat down the green, which one lap down the green is like 20 laps somewhere else but um pretty well handling uh, as far as the plastic the ridge does show the scratches um but you know there's nothing really wrong with the boat but i'd like the red boats for some reason anyway um as you can see i mean you can sort of see the scratches but it's nothing deep or anything like that um the billy go did it will can the first couple times i had it out but then it just popped right back out so I think it just kind of bends but doesn't break kind of type of thing. Um, the one thing I will say is they both stern tap and you can see here it's already wearing down fairly good. I think I have about 10 or 12 runs in this already. Um, and even the billy goat you can see the stern turning to rub down a little bit. But um, so far plastic seems to be holding up alright and outfitting. Um, I will say the billy goat here, the hip, this kind of thigh brace thing, I had to push back a little bit, glue started coming loose, but haven't had any issues other than that. Um, but yeah, so it's a quick update, like I said, um, if you had to pick one, I would go with a goat, you know, both of them are great too. Um, I will say the main disadvantage of this, and even versus kind of like the new Scorch and stuff, is you can't stern load really that well to go over booths because you got all that volume back there. I have heard too for the heavier paddlers, um, this water will catch in here um, and kind of throw you off balance. I haven't had any issue with that because I'm so small, but I have heard if the heavier powers that can be a little bit of an issue to kind of keep that in mind. But best thing always is the demo if you can get your hands on one um, and see if you like it. But so far, I absolutely love the goat, you know, great, awesome boat. Um, I really good, like I said, I haven't paddled all that much just on the green ones and some other kind of class two stuff, but hopefully get some more time in that and we'll see how it goes. If you got any questions, um, comment, like, subscribe, um, hit me up with questions. Thanks.